thing of telling you when the end will come and who is the uh, anti-Messiah, dot, dot, dot. For Gary, Por qué hay eh, cohetes y misiles ahora en Israel? Mucha gente eh, quiere decir, eh, hablar del apocalipsis, decir, eh, eh, profesar que cuando viene el Mesías y todo así. I found this to be interesting. Encontré esto interesante. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys can hear. Is the future of one the... Yes. Yes. I know Christ. Right. What about the future of Satan, uh, this horrible, terrible, harassing and abusing preacher? Well, let me tell you about Satan and his and his buddies. At the end of the tribulation, at the at the Battle of Armageddon, the false prophet and the beast are cast into Hades. That's what the Bible says, right? I'm just, I'm just telling you what the scriptures here, right there. Sure. Then a thousand years happens. Satan's still there. He's bound, but he's not been cast into the lake of fire yet. At the end of the of, of the millennium, the Bible says he joins his two buddies in the lake of fire. They actually are in hell for a thousand years before he is, and they become the first inhabitants of hell. And the Bible says those who have rejected Christ and have followed Satan in his ways, who have taken the mark of of the beast in order that they might escape the judgment they will be cast into that lake of fire along with satan and the false prophet and the beast and that's a very uh, uncomfortable thing for people to say but i like to remind everybody that if god did not do that he couldn't be gone if god could passively stand by and watch the evil that we're beginning to see even in our world today and do nothing he would disqualify himself that, as hang, God. Hang on, that's not the uh, first one. Let's see. Un momento, que este no es el primero. That's, that's the second one. The second one. This is Antichrist. So there is the future of ones who do not know Christ. Right. What about the future of Satan, uh, this horrible, terrible, harassing, and abusing creature? Well, let me tell you about Satan and his, and his buddy. No, that's not good. There are 25 different titles That's for right. Antichrist in Revelation. Right. 25. 25. He's called the man of sin, the lawless one. You can just go right through it. And um, all of these titles are meant to give us a little glimpse into his character, his personality. He is the most wicked, most awful person. I mean, take Hitler and Stalin and uh, Mao Zedong and all those people, yeah. wrap them all up to one and then multiply them and you won't even come close to the awful uh, character of this man. So he's going according to Revelation. This he's describing who he feels Satan is. Él está explicando acuerdo de Apocalipsis, explicando, tratando de explicar quién él cree que es Satanás. Now he says he's all these horrible things: Stalin, Hitler. He hasn't even mentioned some of the most hideous people in Africa, but let's go on. Está diciendo nombre como Stalin y Hitler. Control of this world, and everyone will be under his domination because if they aren't, they won't be able to function. So, David. So, first of all, if you had to say who is in control of this world, because the scriptures tell you that the the uh, world is given into who the hand, uh, the hand of the wicked, right? Al principio, ¿quién podemos decir que controla el mundo? Porque el mundo se le dio a los impíos. Right? He's so, the God of this world. So, yes. Yeah, so, if the world is given into the hands of the wicked, we got to find out who this hand belongs to. 
right? Si el mundo les entregó, se los entregaron a los malvados, tenemos que saber quiénes son. <coughs> Job 920, uh, Job 924. Oh, he didn't have my. Job 924. Hermana Job? Sí, Job 924. Mm -hmm. So it says here, it says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, uh, the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Job 924. La tierra es entregada en manos de los impíos y el cubre rostro de sus jueces. Si no es él, ¿quién es? ¿Dónde está? Now, this, it didn't say wickeds. It says wicked. That's singular. Rasha. Eh, no dice malvados, dice malvado. And he covers the faces of the judges. That's Israel. Y él cubre el rostro de sus jueces. And it, in terms of the judges, he's corrupt. So he pays off or he is an unfair judge, right? Y es un juez corrupto. And so it says, if not, the where and who is he? But the, if the earth is given in the hand of the wicked, it's, it's a family of people ruling this earth. Yes, not one person. Si el, el, la tierra se, lo, uh, le, le, se les entregaron a los impíos, ¿no es una familia um, sobre el liderazgo o, solamente, o una persona? So, let's hear some more of this. Escuchamos. Our curiosity, my curiosity is, uh, where does this man come from? What can you tell us about us and not him based on biblical revelation? I believe he comes out of the European coalition. The Bible says that early in his in his um, career he takes power so he got that right he's european es de europea we're over three nations and then with those three nations he gets power over the european coalition and then ultimately comes to power over all the world and uh when we so, talk about fall so who's co who's come to power all over the world. The Bible says in Job that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Is there a person that's doing this or is it a group of people that are controlling the whole earth right now? ¿Quién tiene el poder sobre el mundo? ¿Una persona o un grupo de personas? I believe it's those 70 angels that inherit the land from God. Let's uh let's keep it to the let's keep it to the earth given into the hand of the wicked. Who's ruling their earth right now? Oh, Ava's raised the hand. I see the hand. Go ahead. Ying está um sobre el poder del mundo. Like a coalition of people. There's a coalition of people. Are they? Who would the coalition of people be? It será una coalición de gente. That's a good question. In his song. He told you out of Europe. Right. So who would the coalition out of Europe be? Coalición de Europa. ¿Quién es song? Grupo G. Um, the monarch. The monarchs. Yes. Mm -hmm. The United States. La monarquía. France. Estados Unidos. Francia. The European Union. 
right? All those people who dominate the world right now, Russia, United la, States, es, all the brothers. Estados Unidos, los hermanos. In the Bible, it's called Esau. La Biblia eh, le llaman Esau. He's describing Esau. He doesn't even know it. He's describing his own people. This is the funniest thing when I was like, oh, he, these guys are now starting to describe themselves. Who are the most wickedest people? Who's done the most genocide on this earth? Él está hablando de su propia gente, Isaú, y ni lo sabes. ¿Quién ha hecho lo más daño en la gente de este mundo? Esau. Esaú. Most profit in a few moments, you'll learn that his, his uh, strategy for being in control of the world is to provide a license for everybody to basically be alive. Uh, we call it the mark of the beast, but basically this license was set up to control the economy of the world and, and the way the way you qualify to be able to. So did we have a licensing system recently? A what? Licensing. Oh. Did you need a license? Teníamos un programa de, li, de, licenci, de licenciar, uh, eh, rent, uh, licencia. Anybody remember COVID? Eh, COVID. You didn't have the card, you couldn't keep a job, right? Y no tenían uh, tarjeta, no podían trabajar. He, what beast sets up that, la, that system? The European ¿Cuál, Union? ¿Cuál bestia? World eh, Health Organization? Eh, hace un programa así a uh, el Unión Europeo. We, we, we read. Uh, oh, listen, we're in the right book. What is the Estamos, where, There's a mark. Libro. Hay una there, marca. There is a mark. It, it's an Ezekiel. Hay una marca en Ezequiel. Uh, was it three? Six, uh, nine, where is it? Um, no, it had to be. That's what the sons of God came. Oh, I'm still in Job. I thought I went to Ezekiel. That's what I was wondering. Where is my... So the spirit lifts me up okay. Uh, awesome. Here we go. And... Siege of Jerusalem. So here, um, it says in Ezekiel 6.1, it says, And the word of, of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Ben Adam, set thy face towards the mountain of Yasharel and prophesy against them, and say, Ye mountains of Yasharel, hear the word of Yahuwah thy El. Thus saith Yahuwah thy El, to the mountain, to the hills, the rivers, the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you, and I will destroy your high places. Ezequiel 6.1 Vino mi palabra de Yahuwah, diciendo, Hijo de hombre, pon tu rostro hacia los montes de Israel y profetiza contra ellos. So now... He's talking to rivers and he's giving you things of rivers, but he's talking to people, classifications of people. We've gone over that. Está hablando los ríos, pero está hablando de clasificaciones de gente. Right. Um, but he called them mountains, rivers, hills. Montañas, ríos, eh, montañas. Now here in Ezekiel 6, we said, and he said this further unto me, Ben Adam, see thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Yashrael committed here, that I should go far away from my sanctuary 
but ye turn ye yet again, thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me into the door of the courts. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then he said unto me, Ben Adam, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, go and behold, and the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and, be, and behold, every form of creeping thing, and abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Yasharel portrayed upon the walls round about, showed you the paganism and the idol idolatry that was being done in the temple of the Most High, in the secret places. Uh, Ezequiel 6, um, 2 y 3. Y dirás, montes Israel, oí palabra de Yahuwah el Señor. Así ha dicho Yahuwah el Señor a los montes y a los collados, a los arroyos y a los valles. He aquí que yo, yo haré venir sobre vosotros espada y destruiré vuestros lugares altos. Vuestros altares serán asolados y vuestras imágenes del sol serán quebradas. Y haré que caigan vuestros muertos delante de vuestros ídolos. Y pondré los cuerpos muertos de los hijos de Israel delante de sus ídolos. Y vuestros huesos esparciré en derredor de vuestros altares. And he said unto me, verse 12, uh, Son of man, or Ben-Adam, has thou seen what the ancients of the house of the elders of the house of Yashorel do in the dark? Every man in his chambers, his secret place of his imagination, his mind, for they say, Yahuwah seeth us not. Yahuwah has forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. 12, 13. Um, I see you have in Ezekiel 9, 8, no? Yeah, 12. Uh, I was in oh. 12 and 13, I said. Ezequiel, eh, capítulo 8, verso 2 y 13. Y me dijo, hijo de hombre, ¿has visto las cosas que los ancianos de la casa de Israel hacen en tinieblas, cada uno en sus cama, cámaras pintadas de imágenes? Porque dicen ellos, no nos ve, Yahuwah, Yahuwah ha abandonado la tierra. Me dijo después, vuélvete aún, verás abominaciones mayores que hacen eso. Nine. Then he cried also in my ear with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city. We just did this not too long ago, right? And every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, the six men came out, blah, 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 right? And then he said, verse 2, And behold, six men came out, every man with a slaughtering weapon in his hand, and one man among them with clothed with linen and with a writer's inkhorn in his side. And they went and they stood beside the brazen altar, and the esteem of Yahuwah, of Yasharel, was gone up from the cherubim, whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the right inkhorn by his side, and said, Yahuwah said unto him, Go throughout the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. This is the word here, Tav upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. What is the mark that the believers have? Ezequiel 9, 1, 4. Clamó en mis oídos con gran voz diciendo, los verdugos de la ciudad han llegado y cada uno trae en su mano su instrumento para destruir. Y aquí que seis varones venían del camino de la puerta de arriba que mira hacia el norte y cada uno traerá en su mano su instrumento para destruir. Y entre ellos... Go ahead. Y entre, um, entre ellos había un varón vestido de lino el cual traerá a su cintura un tintero de escribano y entrados se pararon junto al altar de bronce. Y la sema de Yahuwah de Israel se elevó de encima que querubim, sobre el cual había estado el umbral de la casa, llamó Yahuwah al varón vestido de lino que tenía a su cintura el tintero de escribano. Y le dijo Yahuwah para por el medio de la ciudad. Por el verse four? I'm, I'm on four now. Oh, okay. Y le dijo Yahuwah pasó, pasa por el medio de la ciudad. 
por el medio de Jerusalén, ponles una señal en la frente a los hombres que gimen y que claman a causa de todas las abominaciones que se hacen en medio de ella. Yeah, sound like you're reading the whole verse. I mean, chapter. Uh, you see, it is a mark on their forehead. Who put the mark there? ¿Quién les puso la marca en la frente? The angel with the inkhorn. Yes. El ángel con el unicornio. Who got the mark? ¿Quién Anybody? tiene la marca? ¿Alguien? Did, does everybody have the mark? ¿Todo el mundo tiene la marca? Anybody? Oh. Any, anybody listening? Yo digo que no. Uh, I say no. No. It says yeah, no. Too. Just them who understand the commandments and weep and and mourn for the right way. Aquellos que entienden los mandamientos y um never mourn, I say. Sigh, weep, cry. Y lloran por la, la manera justa. Now, verse 5. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and kill. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Kill utterly old and young, both maid and little children, women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at the sanctuary that they then they began at the ancient of men which were before the house. Cinco. Ezequiel nueve cinco. Y a los otros dijo, oyéndolo, uh, yo, pasar por la ciudad en pos de él y matar, no perdone vuestro ojo, ni tengáis misericordia. Matar a viejos, jóvenes y vírgenes, niños y mujeres, hasta que no quede ninguno. Pero todo aquel sobre el cual hubiere señal, no os acercaréis y comenzaréis. Por mi santuario comenzaron pues desde los varones ancianos que estaban delante del templo. So, there is a mark, and therefore, if you're not marked, what do you, what mark do you have? Si hay una marca, y si no tienes la marca, ¿qué tienes? Nobody got a clue here, huh? You're just not in it. Yeah, apparently not. The mark is the mark that the fathers put on you for faith and then if you don't have that mark you are already marked for destruction la marca de fe y si no um, tienes la marca estás marcado para la destrucción so basically not having a mark is having a mark so no tener una marca es tener una marca having the mark apparently you won't do things which means you're gonna uh have a hard time but not having mark you're part of the world that was wicked and corrupt um no tener la marca es ser sal parte del mundo ser malvado y corrupto okay but remember in covid they didn't want you shopping they didn't want you to do a whole bunch of things if you didn't have a mask and all these indicators, masks, markers, all these other things. These are test trials, whatever. But a lot of things he's saying has happened already. And a lot of things he's talking about is already in play. The nation, the world is given into the hand of the wicked. He has already made enemy with Israel. He had already made a covenant with Israel. And he is at a uh, peace. And he has gone and put us into captivity. Th that is only Edom, Esau. Eso solamente es Edom, Esaú, hablando de ponerlos, ponernos en cautividad. Was to the beast, who is the the beast from the sea. 
and so there, that's where we get the mark of the beast. And, and uh, he he gained, gains control over all the world. Here's the key thing that he does. Now, again, he can, gains control over all the world. Who has control over all the world? ¿Quién tiene control sobre todo el mundo? Esau. 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 It's not hard. Esau. He, Esau. He's in Africa. He's everywhere we are. And he's put us in 400 years of change. Is that not a sign to you that you're not in control, but there is a government that is in control? Nos puesto en 400 años de esclavitud. Eso no es signo de quién está en control, sino nosotros. Entonces, ¿quién? The religion of the Most High, the, when the, the Most High left, it says when we read in, in, the, in the Ezekiel that the cherubim moved from its place and stood at the doorpost and then it leaves. When that left, Christianity and Muslim Islam came in. Cuando se fue el querubim del templo, ahí entró a las religiones, cristianidad, islam. You're under, those are beast systems. Esos son sistemas de la bestia. Who, who was convincing people to get the vaccine? ¿Quién estaba eh, eh, tratando de convencer a la gente a vacunarse? The Christian church. La iglesia cristiana. See, who, who's support? Okay, if you look in the news, Israel has said what? I mean, the United States has said it sides with Israel, right? On this war. En la noticia, los Estados Unidos dicen que están uh, juntos a Israel, con Israel. If you watch the news, whose side of the story are you hearing? Si ves las noticias, ¿Al lado de cuál estás escuchando las noticias? Really? ¿En, ¿En favor de quién están? ¿En favor de qué país? Israel. Israel. You're hearing the Israel side. They came in, they bombed the place, which they did. They did bad things, which they did. But escuchando they el lado de Israel. They don't show you what led up to this. No te enseñan lo que pasó antes de esto, de esto pasar. They didn't the persecution of Israelis going into Palestinian homes and kicking the people out and taking over their homes, just moving in. No te enseñan lo que eh, principio que Israel entró a Palestina a, a conquistar um, residencias y, um, y negocios. I'm not taking a side on this, but I'm just telling you there's more than one side. No estoy escogiendo lados aquí, pero siempre hay más de una historia en cada cosa. But anytime you see the United States, you see propaganda. Cuando tú ves los Estados Unidos, siempre hay propaganda. I was sharing with my wife, look at the newscasters getting in the way of the tanks so that they can say, oh, we were on the front lines of this war, so they can get an award. Eh, si tú miras eh, los Uh, lo que están hablando uh, de las noticias, los presentadores de noticias, se meten en el mismo medio del de tanque o el humo para ganar premios. Watch the Jews when they're on camera, how they put it on just a little extra, crying when there's no tears, and you know, uh, it's theatrics. It's not ¿Sí? saying that a bad thing didn't happen, but I'm saying, look how they're trying to usher sympathy for their cause. Mira a ver la gente que practican el judaísmo uh, cuando están en la cámara, uh, cómo están um, actuando. No estoy diciendo que nada malo pasó, pero míralos a ver um, cómo actúan. And they're not showing you the thousands of Palestinian children and innocent citizens that have been turned into dust through bombs. No te enseñan a uh, todos los de Palestina que ellos habían conquistado y matado antes y lo hicieron entre polvo. You're seeing one side of the story because that's what the B system does. It gets you to believe what they want you to believe. Ves un lado nada más porque esto es lo que hace el sistema de la bestia. Quiere que uno crea solamente un lado. 
Now, remember, Israel took over the Palestinian land in 1948. Israel conquistó la tierra de Palestina en el 1948. These were Karaites, I mean, these were not Karaites, well, these were uh, Japhites from Russia, Germany, who settled the land and became Jews, Hebrews, Jews. Eh, ellos, lo que conquistaron las tierras de Palestina eran Jafitas y eran los... Um, eran los uh, judíos de los principios. Now, they're kicking out people in the Gaza Strip and they're taking over their stuff and saying they don't have a right to their own land. Ellos están votando la gente de, uh, de Gaza, la, de la cadena de Gaza o banda, These pero no, okay, sorry. Que no tienen derecho a la tierra. These are the same people that funded the slave trade, the sub-Saharan trade, the, um, uh, what was the other big one? The Pan-African slave, slave trade. Uh, la misma gente de la, de sub-Sahara, los esclavos um, del transatlántico, panatlántico. Right. So, comercio. they, or the, They, so they insured it, they paid for the ships, and they were major slave owners, but they are the victims, and you can't say anything bad about them, or some magic army comes, and, and all of a sudden you're broke. Le puso, eh, le pusieron seguro, pagaron por todo eso, pero no puede decir nada porque después no tienes nada. If that's not a beast, I don't know what is. Si eso no es una bestia, no sé lo que es. He makes a covenant with Israel at the beginning of his career, and he promises to protect them from all of their Arabic enemies. And, 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 and so Israel goes back home, and they, they kind of disarm. They use all of their inventiveness and try to rebuild their economy. And the Bible says while they're at peace, he comes in and he breaks the covenant that he had made with them. Now, did this happen in America? ¿Era esto pasó en América? No, 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 no. What did? Remember when Lincoln <clears throat> freed the slaves? ¿Te recuerdas cuando Lincoln um, di que eh, abolizó eh, los esclavos? And then the, the uh, ex-slaves started forming land. Y después los ex-esclavos empezaron and, a formar la tierra, los liberados. In cities that flourished quite well. Y en ciudades que eh, florizaron bien. And what did he do to them? ¿Y qué les hizo? This man, he came and destroyed them. What about... Vino y los destruyó después about, que florecieron. Um, uh, what's his face? When he built, he was buying ships to take all the blacks back to Africa. What happened there? Él que estaba comprando barcos para regresar todos los esclavos atrás a África. He sunk the ships. Uh, hundió los barcos. What about the Haitians when they revolted? What did they do to the Haitians? Cuando los haitianos revoltearon, ¿qué le hicieron? The French put them under a uh, tax for billions okay. of dollars. Los de Francia los pusieron debajo de mucha, muchos ataques. What about Mexico? Who owned some of America? Who owned some of America and got it stolen from? Them? The Mexicans. In Mexico, quién era el dueño de ellos? Who can't cross the border? ¿Quién no puede cruzar el border? Mexicans. Me Mexicanos. It's, 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 you can't. It's, it, if you don't wake up, you don't see the hypocrisy of this system. Si no te levantas, no puedes ver la hipocresía de este sistema. If the Messiah was on this earth right now, would he not be speaking about these things? Si el Mesías que estaba sobre la faz de esta tierra no hubo él, no hubiera él hablado, hablar de esas cosas? 
the first time he came, not the second time. Uh, la primera vez que vino. Now you talked about it. The second time is he's going to correct he, he, it. He ain't, yeah, he ain't talking. He ain't doing a lot of talking on the second time. Mm -hmm. Sorry. He don't get to do that. He's about to correct a lot of things. Amen. Sí, él no llega a decir eso, pero él va a corregir muchas cosas. Now, three and a half years, right? If you look at that 300 and a half years, or 350 years, it's 400, almost 400 years of what is slavery that we've been in captivity? 400 years. Eh, 300, 400 años de esclavitud. So first of all, that already happened. Atención, por el principio ya eso pasó. That's during the time of the Maccabean revolt. Durante el tiempo los Maccabi, la Maccabees. Where the uh, Constantine came and put in his image in the court, and they called it the abomination of desolation. Constantine puso su imagen en la corte y le llamaron a uh, la abominación de la desolación. And they banned uh, any type of Hebrew worship. Y um, pararon cualquier clase de uh, alabanza hebrea. Meaning you couldn't keep the Sabbath. No podías guardar el Shabbat. Meaning you couldn't call yourself by Hebrew names. <clears throat> no te podían llamar por su nombre hebreo. Or you, you were not allowed to wear the garb of a Hebrew. Eh, no podías ponerte las, la ropa de hebreo. And you had to be a member of the Catholic Church. Y tenía que ser miembro de la Iglesia Católica. What changed? ¿Y qué cambió? Worship now. You, you don't worship anymore. And in, in what the Bible calls the, the abomination of desolation, the Antichrist actually goes into the Jewish temple. I mean, this is hard to comprehend. He goes into the Holy of Holies. He removes all the furniture and he sets up a statue in the Holy of Holies, which is a... No, didn't do that, but but that already happened already. With the Epiphanies. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, yeah. Something the Epiphanies. Um, I can't think of the emperor, the emperor's name, but he was called the uh, something Epiphanies. Oh, if I can just get some. Of de él, pero he, algo de... he was the one who, who put up the image, and he was the one that the hammer of the Israel of the Maccabean revolt started, and they they took down the image, and they they went after Jews who. Um, stopped doing the things of Jews and, and respected the ways of the Romans. Antiochus This thing already happened. Fourth Epiphanies. Huh? Antiochus the fourth yeah, Epiphanies. Thank you. Thank you. Antiochus Epiphanies. Mm. Appreciate your mind there. Yes. Antiochus Epiphanies. Yes. He did this already. El hizo esto ya. By the way, Antiochus it sounds a lot like Antichrist. Antiochus. Eh, se oye como Anticristo. Right? So the Antichrist is one has already come. I'm not saying there's another one coming, but it'll still be after this current beast system. El this... Anticristo ya ha venido, pero viene de... Um, pero va a venir quizás... Did you say another one is coming? Yeah, in other words, yeah. If it, in time, so-called, if they want to call it that, the, the uh, wrapping up of the New World Order. Uh, quizás viene otro para... Um... It's still going to be the European Union. Que todavía va a ser la Unión Europea. Because look who's t t look who is over the world. ¿Quién está sobre el mundo? And look who's telling the poor what they should do, when they should do it, or they'll just take things from them or keep them in captivity. ¿Y quién le dice al pobre qué debe hacer y cuándo lo deben hacer y qué le pueden quitar? 
Do you have the jobs or do they have the jobs? Tenemos los trabajos o nosotros o ellos. Do you have the technology or do they have the technology? Nosotros tenemos la tecnología o ellos. Do you have the weapon, weaponry and power to make war or do they? Nosotros tenemos las almas y el poder o ellos. Tells you who's in control. Te dice quién está en control. They are. We agree. I, will, I agree. In the coming times, because they're controlling the food now, right? Mucha gente se van a morir eh, durante el, eh, la tribulación o el, de hambruna uh, porque ahora están controlando la comida. You can't get real food anymore. You, you're getting these, mm, what's it called? Um, you know. Say again? You know. Spirit. Yeah, experimental foods, but they're they're hybrids, right? Ahorita no puedes encontrar meat. comida uh, real porque meat. son falsos. Where's meat being made now? Donde hacen las carnes? Laboratory. In the laboratory. La labota laboratorio. Your vegetables, they're being treated. They're, they're, they're not 100% um, pesticide free or... or uh, na natural. It's in the barcode. Bar uh, los vegetales uh, también los tratan con uh, otras, co otras químicas. So in certain places you can't even get clean water. En algunos sitios ni puedes obtener agua limpia. The water, you can light the water with a match. Um, puedes alumbrarla con un... Um, and, and, and by the way, have you ever smelled the water that comes out of the tap now? Uh, con un fósforo la puedes alumbrar. ¿Ha olido la agua que sale del de fregadero? Chlorine, chlorine. It's not just chlorine. I don't know what I'm smelling now, man. I, I, Jersey was de had decent water, but I wouldn't drink that water for nothing. Se I huele just, bien mal I ahora. I mal. could die of thirst. Uno se muere de la sed. That's, it smells, you, you smell the faucet sometimes. Turn the water on and smell the faucet when it first comes out. Not your pipe, just let it run. You'll smell there's something in the water that just doesn't smell right. Si tu uh, hueles la agua, no huele bien. Bring right. up well water. Well, they're, they're polluting the ground. Eh, están uh, hasta contaminando las buenas. It got you every way covered. You ain't getting no. You ain't getting out of this. Eh, los pozos. No, no vamos a salir de esto. The, there's a brick system, economic system that is going against the USD. Hay un sistema económico que está yendo contra eh, las la, el dinero de los Estados Unidos. That's that's a economic shakeup. You think that uh, if it was going to be successful, that there wouldn't be an all-out war. Tú crees que si iba iba a ser bien la 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 división de la divisa eh, no va a haber guerra. It's a test run. And so little by little they will they will they'll die. So we... so if the if the if Asia, if Africa and China and India, and they go to the brick system, how much you think uh, food would cost here? Cost here in the United States? The Africa, um, India, China, van a este sistema. ¿Cuánto tú crees que va a costar la comida aquí? Double the price. Triple, double the price. You're already seeing it in gas. And when this goes into effect, gas could cost almost twenty-five dollars a gallon. Doble el precio, como vimo, hemos vimos con la gasolina. You think you can afford that? 
Él puede con eso. Who controls the system? ¿Quién controla yeah. el sistema? The beast. Cool of, of, of our leaders. Empowered by Satan. Yeah. No. Uh, Hiroshima Nagasaki. Uh, Hiroshima y Nagasaki. Was it necessary to drop a nuclear bomb on them? An atomic ¿Era necesario eh, tirar una bomba atómica sobre ellos? No, that was blatant. No, in fact, they were already ready to surrender. No, That's ya right. estaban, estaban listos para um, rendirse. Who dropped that bomb on them? ¿Quién dejó ir esta bomba? Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Throughout the world, who was dropping Samuel. bombs on people? ¿Quién estaba eh, votando, tirando bombas sobre la gente? We. European nation. Yep. Eh, Britain, France, uh, United States, Russia. Francia, eh, Estados Unidos, Rusia. And China just got into this fray. Japan. Everybody's subjugating the people of color. Todo el mundo está subjugando la gente de, de color. Latinos, you're, you're being subjugated by people who came from the Spaniards and came from all these things and 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 are are raising hell on the earth. And you don't think the father is going to judge them? Eh, todo lo que están tratando de ir contra el padre ahora, eh, ¿no crees que el padre lo va a juzgar a ellos? No, because when they drop bombs, they don't drop bombs on just their enemy. Innocent women, children, little boys, little girls, babies, no regard. Eh, no tienen eh, misericordia. Están tirando bomba en, encima de cualquiera. Did we not read that in Ezekiel? The same thing. Have no regard for old, young, slay them all. Didn't matter because that's what war, that's what happens. That's what the Babylonians did. Leímos en, um, en Ezequiel, eso mismo, lo que está pasando. And that's what Americans are doing. Y eso es lo que hacen los americanos. And that's what Rome has done. Y eso es lo que ha hecho Roma. And it hasn't stopped. Y no ha parado. It's, Islam hasn't stopped. The slave trade, the Arab slave trade, those are by our friendly brother of Islam. And uh, the biggest slave port was Mecca. Oh, where you happen to do that pilgrimage. Eh, donde tenían los más esclavos eh, en el porte, um, puerto de México, de, de, de el lado de Mecca. And it's, it's, not, it's not dark uh, Arabic people who are doing this. It's the kind of the European Arabic that's doing all of this. Es el árabe europeo que está haciendo todo esto. Nothing's changed. This is what I'm saying. When we read this, we look for fantasy, but it's, the history is dead in our face. Cuando leemos esto, buscamos fantasía, pero la historia está ahí mismo, frente a nosotros. When, in the New Testament, is Satan described a lot, or do you hear him say, I saw Satan falling uh, from the sky with great wrath? En el Nuevo Testamento, ¿hablas de Satanás mucho o no tanto? During, that was the time of the Messiah. He says he will so, he shall persecute Yasharel. He's been persecuting Yasharel. El tiempo del Mesías, eh, eh, cuando iban a, a, a perjudicar a, a Yasharel, eh, todavía está pasando. Since Israel's been scattered, since that prophecy went forth, the Israelis, is Yasharel, all 12 tribes, have been scattered and persecuted. Todos los 12 tribus de Israel han sido esparcidos y, um, let me see, per persecuted, um, perseguidos. Captivity. Cautiverio. So, we don't have to look, I'm not saying there's not a spiritual evil, there has to be. No estoy diciendo que no hay un, um, Mal, a mal eh, espíritu. We know in Job it says Satan was there too. And that was the spirit, Satan. Y eh, hasta con Job, el espíritu maligno estaba ahí. 
con the, ellos. The, but the visible, tangible people carrying out that plan are Esau. Pero la gente mala, 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 ay, viendo que el plan llegue al fin, es, es, es vino de Esaú. Who, who else has done evil like that? ¿Quién más ha hecho el malo así? No one else. Let's see. Psalms 13. I mean, sorry. Psalms 137. Verse 7. Uh, remember, remember the song that they required, and this is during slave time, they required the slaves to sing a song, and they're telling you by the rivers of Babylon, you know, there's this is the song, right? And then it goes into uh, what the slave master wanted. And look at look at the song that so that we never forget what happened. It says by the rivers of Babylon there we first sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For they for there they that carried us away captive captive required of us a song. And they and they that wasted us required us mirth, happiness, saying, "Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Give me an old nigga spiritual." Same thing. Uh, verse four. How shall we sing Yahuwah's songs in a strange land? Five. If I forget the old Jerusalem, let my right hand for, forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee. Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, and if I uh, prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Okay, that's the first part of this great song, and, and the Father's promise that he will never forget Jerusalem or Israel. Eh, Salmo, you were up to um, six. six. Salmo no 37, 1 a 6. Junto a los ríos de Babilonia, ahí nos sentábamos y aún llorábamos, acordándonos de Sion. Sobre los sauces en medio de ella colgamos nuestras alpas, y los que nos habían llevado cautivos nos pedían que cantásemos, y los que nos habían desolado nos pedían alegría diciendo, cantadnos algunos de los cánticos de Sion. ¿Cómo cantaremos cántico de Jehová en tierra de extraños? Si me olvidaré de ti, oh Jerusalén, pierda mi diestra su destreza, mi lengua se pegue a mi paladal, si de ti no me acordaré, si no en al ticiere a Jerusalén como preferente junto, asunto de mi alegría. Hoy a jugar recuerda contra los hijos de Dom el día de Jerusalén cuando decían arrasarla, arrasarla hasta los cimientos. Now, this is, you Perdona. should highlight it in your, pues, yes. ¿Qué es que leyó ahí, hermana, perdón? Salmo 1.37, versos 1 a 6. A 6. A 6. Okay. See here, uh -huh. Psalms 1.37, and we're at verse 7. Mm -hmm. Okay? It says, this is your, you should have this marked in your Bible. Remember, O Yahuwah, the children of Edom. Edom is Edomites. Idumium. In the day Jerusalem, in the day of Jerusalem, when they went into captivity, who said... Raise it, raise it, even to the foundations thereof. That means to tear it down, tear it down, all the way to the foundation. Uh, verso 7. Oye, Juá, recuerda contra los hijos de Dom el día de Jerusalén cuando decían arrasadla, arrasadla hasta los cimientos. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh the taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone. Hmm. 
8. Hija de Babilonia, la desolada. Bienaventurado el que te diera el pago de lo que tú nos hiciste. 9. Dichoso el que tomaré y estrellaré sus niños contra la peña. You're not seeing little ones being crushed by stones. Estás viendo a los pequeños ahora ser um, crushed. Hmm. Killed. I mean, just killed. Matados por las piedras. Aplastados por las piedras. Buildings falling on people. Eh, los edificios um, cayéndose sobre la gente. But this is Edom. This is the same people in charge. For Israel, they're saying, destroy it, destroy it, or tear it down, tear it down, even to the foundation thereof. Eh, leyó otra vez. You read another ver a verse again, no, right? No, I didn't read anything. I just, I oh, just okay. read the same seven. Uh, destruyendo la fundación de, de, de todo lo que le queda. Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just saying, think about what you're saying. There has been people who have been saying from the very beginning, destroy Israel. Hay gente que han dicho del principio, destruir, destruir, destruir a Israel. Right? They've been saying the same thing for years, Psalms, and we can just read Psalms 83, right? Lo mismo por años y años, como Salmo 83. Verse 4. Salmo 83, verso 4. Let's read it starting at verse 2. Pesando con dos. It says, For lo, thine enemies maketh a tumult. They that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And they have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. Two through four. Dos through cuatro. Salmo 80, uh, dos, dos a cuatro. ¿Por qué aquí que ruguen tus enemigos y los que te aborrecen al san cabeza? Contra tu pueblo han consultado astuta y secretamente, y han entregado en consejo contra tus protegidos. Han dicho venir y destruyámoslos para que no sean nación y no haya más memoria del nombre de Israel. So now he's going to tell you who is in power. Verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent, and they have they are all in confederate against thee. The tabernacle of Edom and Ishmaelite and Moab and the Hagarians, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek and the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher also is joined with them and they have hoped the children of Lot, Selah. Uh, cinco, porque se confabulan de corazón a una, contra ti han hecho alianza las tiendas de los Edomitas y de los Ishmaelitas, Moab y a los Agre Agarenos, Gebal, Amón y Amalek. Los filisteos y los habitantes de Tiro, también el asirio se ha juntado con ellos, silben el de brazo a los hijos de Lot. So now, uh, Psalms uh, verse 6, right? Even the, uh, the tents of Edomium, the so-called Edomites, right? And it says the Ishmaelites, that's the Arabs. Moab, who's Moab? Los Ishmaelitas son los árabes y Moab. ¿Quién es Moab? Los de Egipcio. The Egipcio. Chinese. Los de China. Moab is Chinese. And the uh, the Ar are the Argonese, right? That's Egyptian. Uh, los Agarenos, sí. Egipcio, sí. Mm -hmm. Right? Verse 7. It says, Gebal, that's Hamites. Mm -hmm. eh, Gebal, los Amitas. Ammon. Japanese. Am Amon, Japón. Right? The Amalek, 
Who's Amalek? Amalek. Who's the Amalekites? Son? Amalekitas. They call themselves Jews now. Los que practican el judaísmo. That's the Khazarians. They call themselves Jews. Then the, the Philistines, that's the Palestinians. Los Filisteos son de Palestino, Palestine. Also, they that dwell in Tyre, that's the Hamites. Los que fueron en Tire, uh, los Amitas. Verse 8, Ye Asher, which is Syria and Turkey. Eh, también el Asirio se ha juntado con ellos, sirven de abrazo a los hijos de Lot, eh, Siria y Turquía. And what it says that the children, what have they done to help the hope in the children of Lot, which is the Ammonites and the Moabites? ¿Qué han hecho para ayudar los hijos de Lot, que son los Amonitas y los Moabitas? That's the, that's the Chinese and Japanese. China y Japón. Those are all the people, all the players that you're hearing on TV now, all the people at war. Hmm. Todos los que están jugando, todos los que están en guerra. You don't find that suspicious. <laughs> no, eso está sospechoso. That's now assumed control of the world, right? Just as God has a trinity, Satan has a trinity, an unholy trinity. Now, what would a unholy, what nations would be an unholy trinity right now? Eh, ¿Qué nación será una trinidad eh, no, no santa? United States and who? Estados Unidos y Britain and France. A la Britania y France, Francia. Although France is always kind of sketchy. Francia siempre es como um, uno no sabe, eh, yeah. incompleta. And I'll, I'll be really honest with you. It used to be, and probably still is, United States, Britain, and Russia. El, había, era Estados Unidos, um, Britan, Britania y Rusia. As much as they say they hate Russia, United, there's a lot of the United States in Russia right now. There's a lot of, uh, there was a lot of companies that were in, U.S. companies in Russia prior Muchas to this. Muchas americanas war. estaban en Rusia. And when 9-11 when happened, who came to U.S.'s defense and said, we stand with the United States? Their brother. Nueve, and they called them their brother. Cuando 9-11 pasó, ¿quién se paró con los Estados Unidos? Russia. Rusia. You, you, you gotta watch. It's, it's hard to find out who the players are. Es duro um, a ver quiénes son los que juegan. And it doesn't matter because they're all going to turn on the United States anyway. So they're going to turn on Israel. They're going to turn. Todos los jugadores van a traicionar a los Estados Unidos y a Israel. Now, could we look at church the same way? Miramos a la iglesia la misma manera. Who is the, who is called the vicar of Christ? ¿A quién le dicen el vical de Cristo? La vicaria. That would be Rome. A uh, Roma. That would be the Pope. El eh, Papa. Now, Papa. have you ever seen some of the buildings that the Pope stays in and how they look like the serpent? ¿Han visto los edificios que se queda el Papa y cómo están diseñados como el serpiente? Now, if he's the if he's the vicar, he's Christ on earth. All the other churches are the whore's daughters. Eh, si él es el, la vicaría, um, todas las otras iglesias es, es, son las hijas de All la gran them. prostituta, including Islam. Incluyendo a Islam. Zionism. All of that fall under his domain. Zionism. Todos caen abajo de la, de la domania de ello. And throughout the world, 
they use either the Quran or the Bible. Durante, eh, por el mundo usan el Quran o la Biblia para, para el dominio. To put the people in the captivity. Poner la gente en, en cautiverio. Because they don't read the Old Testament anymore. Porque no leen el, um, el Antiguo Testamento ya. Only the new stuff. Eh, solamente lo, lo nuevo. Without the old stuff, it's no good to you. You can't understand it. Después de, de sin la, las palabras viejas, no puedes hacer mucho, no entiendes. So people have been in captivity with Christianity. La gente ha estado en cautiverio con la cristianidad. Look at the slave masters. They use Christianity to keep the slaves quiet. Mira los eh, maestros de esclavitud. Uh, usan cristianidad para mantener todo el mundo callado. What was that uh, movie just came out not too long ago with, um, oh, uh, uh, what's her name? The, 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 so, oh, it's a female who led all the people at night. Um, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. You see, have you guys seen the Harriet Tubman movie? ¿Han visto esa película de Harriet Tubman? They would find preachers, black preachers, and have them preach only certain verse chapters that said slave, obey, or master. Encontraban predicadores morenos solamente a leer las escrituras que decían esclavos tienen que obedecer eh, su maestro. Not understanding what slave was, and this was your your Hebrew brother, when it was talking about a slave, obey your your taskmaster because you're in your servitude because you haven't paid your bills. No entendiendo lo que quería decir, eh, tal en servitud como un esclavo. But this is slave, they made it slave that's being abused, beaten, and slashed, obey your taskmaster. Pero ellos lo hicieron al fin como el esclavo obedezca a su maestro. See? Christianity. Cristianidad. And you think that the Most High is not mad about that? No crees que el Padre está, uh, tiene ira por eso? Somebody's got to pay for all of this stuff. Alguien tiene que pagar por todo esto. Or remember when we just read in, in, in Psalms 83, when they were saying, raise it, raise it even to the ground and then let us cut them off from being a nation. It was talking about Israel. Cuando ellos estaban diciendo arrasarla, arrasarla y vamos a borrarlo de ser a nación. How, estaban, have, estaban hablando de Israel. Have they cut us off from being a nation? Han no escoltado de nos ha cortado ser nación. Sí o no? Sí. Yes. You don't even know you're Hebrew. And when people no, tell you're Hebrew, you laugh. No sabes que eres hebreo. Cuando te dicen que eres, te, te ríes. People tell you a thousand times you're Hebrew. You're the people of the book. You're the people of the book. You don't believe them. Te dicen, eres hebreo. Eres la gente, el pueblo de, de Israel. El pueblo de Israel, del libro. Y no los creen. And then when, uh, when the Malachite or, or, or Edomite tells you, yeah, there's probably, you're probably, if you're black or Latino, you probably came from one of the 12 tribes. Then you believe them. Fascinating. If who, if who says it? What? Oh, um, si el malequita te dice si eres eh, negro, Latino, que eh, viniste de un, los tribos de Israel, después lo crees. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you can't believe your own people, but when they tell you because you've been so brainwashed, you only accept it if they say it. And even if they do, you're still a little nervous. We can't be anything. Uh, no los creen porque está tan lavado de cerebro que cuando nos dicen la verdad, no los creemos. So the father says he's favored you among, among all the people of the earth. You are, you matter. And you go, no, I don't. El Padre uh, te ha dicho que no tengo sobre de todos los demás del mundo y no lo, no lo creemos. How could I possibly matter? ¿Cómo yo puedo tener alguna importancia? 
not even understanding you were born for this time. No entendiendo que estábamos nacido, nacimos en el, por este tiempo. You're supposed to be crying aloud. You're supposed to be sparing up, sparing not, lifting up your voice like a trumpet. Estamos supuestos a estar eh, eh, alzando nuestras voces, a, gritando uh, sobre la, los pueblos, alzando las voces como la trompeta. You're supposed to be causing your children and their children's children to turn back to the Torah. Eh, estamos supuestos a estar causando nuestros hijos y nuestros hijos de nuestros hijos a regresar a la Torah. Right? You, you were born for this time. Nacimos para este tiempo. But nobody's telling you that. Pero nadie te dice eso. Why aren't they not telling you that? ¿Por qué no te están diciendo Isaiah, eso? Let's go to Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. I just sometimes I see these things and I used to just believe them and be like, ooh, we, wow, when is that going to happen? It's already happening. Yo veía estas cosas y siempre pensaba, wow, ¿cuándo van a pasar esas cosas? Y ahora es el tiempo. Isaiah 58 verse, verse 1 says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a shofar. A shofar, not a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, their pisha, and the house of Jacob their sins. Right? Kato. Isaías 58.1 Clama voz en cuello, no te detengas. Alza tu voz como shofar y anuncia a mi pueblo su rebelión y a la casa de Jacob su pecado. That's what you're supposed to be doing in your home. Right? Eso Why? Es lo que estamos supuestos estar haciendo en nuestros hogares. Why? So yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinances of Yahuwah. <laughs> meaning, uh, oh. <laughs> meaning, they act, they, they're Christians. They act like they have religion, but they don't understand the, the basic commandments of the Most High. Uh, dos, que me buscan cada día y quieren saber mis caminos como gente que hubiese hecho justicia y que no hubiese dejado la ley de su Dios. Me piden justos juicios y quieren acercarse a Dios. And they even tell you why they fast. They fast for strife and blah, blah, blah. But the whole point was you were born to just really say we're waking up and we got to go. We got to turn back. We got to go back to the father. We got to repent. We got to keep the commandments. Ah, uh, tenemos que arrepentirnos, tenemos que regresar a los mandamientos y al Padre. We have to have faith and believe on the Messiah who has redeemed us. Necesitamos tener fe, fe y creer que el Mesías vino a redimirnos. His blood gets us back in. La sangre de él nos, uh, nos eh, regresa a él. It took blood we sacrificed the idols to get out of Yah's grace. Eh, cogió sangre para salir no, de, eh, de la gracia de, de Yahuwah. It takes blood to get back in. Coge sangre para eh, reentrar. Even our gangs know that, blood in, blood out. Hasta las gangas saben eso, eh, sangre para adentro, sangre para afuera. Isn't that, is how simple is that? ¿Qué simple es eso? ¿Quién ha sido profeta falso en este país? Your, your, oh, papa, oh, your papa Joe's, all of these people who have just been fronting 
and acting like they care. The Democratic Party, that's a pro false prophet. The Republican Party, it's a false prophet. Los Everybody thinks, son profetas falsos. Everybody thinks they got your uh, concern and then you vote them in and you get nothing and they tell you a bunch of lies. Todo el mundo cree que tiene que están tratan de convencer a la gente que están son por ellos, pero who's, son mentirosos. Who's passing all these agendas? All of ¿Quién these, pasa todos los genios, agendas? All these weird letters, agendas for the transformers. Todas estas um, letras um, agendas. Far left. In the far left, right? Making it, you know, okay to be a Decepticon. Eh, que está bien ser eh, Decepticon. Speaking in the safe language, so I'm doing. Could I be fine? <laughs> and he manages, he's religious, and he's the religious leader and the economic leader. And he's the one who enforces the mark of the beast. He's the one who causes everybody Is he? to bow down to the Antichrist. Revelation, He's the worship leader, really. Revelation 13, 12 that he put there. He exercises all authority of the first beast of its on its behalf and made the earth and its inhabitants to worship the first beast. And they talk about to receive a mark in the hand and in the head. What is a mark in the hand or head? Eh... Apocalipsis 13, 12. Y ejerce toda la autoridad de la primera bestia en presencia de ella y hace que la tierra y los moradores de ella adoren en la primera bestia cuya herida mortal fue sanada. As a man thinketh, so does he. Como piensa el hombre, así es. What does that mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Whatever you believe, that's what you'll do. Eh, lo que tú crees, eso lo que harás. If you believe the system, you'll do what it says do. Si tú crees el sistema, vas a hacer lo que dice que hagas. There's your mark. Esta la marca. Because you don't have the mark of the Most High, you will, whatever they tell you, you will do what they say happily. No tiene esa marca del altísimo, vas a hacer lo que te dicen, um, feliz. That's why you can't, you can't, the mark cannot be forced upon you. A mark is something you take. La marca no puede ser forzada a ti, tiene es que ver algo que tú coges. Look how we go along with systems. We don't even think. The government says, this is good for you. You go, it's good for me. El gobierno dice que es bueno para ti y tú dices es bueno para ti para mí. If it goes against the Bible, si va en contra la Biblia, they make it up and say it's okay. Eh, te dice mienten, te dicen sí, está bien. The father had a problem with what type of people when the I'm sorry when the Messiah came back at the wedding feast, what type of people did he have a problem with? Cuando el Mesías regresó a la fiesta de la boda, ¿qué clase de gente tenía problemas con? Do we know, do you know what I'm talking about? The Pharisees? Matthew 7. Matthew 7, 22, let's just, uh, uh, Pharisees, yes, but nee. Mateo 7, 22. Who's was the people he had a problem with? It says, not everyone that saith, Matthew 7, we're going to 7, 21. Not everyone that saith to me, master, master, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father, which is in the Shamaim, many will say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name casted out devils, and in thy name done many wondrous, wonderful works? 
And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye worker of lawlessness, not iniquity, lawlessness, antinomia, anomia, wickedness or lawlessness, not keeping the commandments. A Mateo 7, 21, no todo el que me dice Señor, Señor, entrará en el reino de los cielos, sino el que hace la voluntad de mi Padre que está en los cielos. So, all the religions, all the religions, that Christ, they were not of Christ. They were Todas not. Religiones. Because they walked away from the commandments, the Torah. Porque caminaron afuera del Torah. Remember, Mo Messiah said, Moses will have an accusation against you. Moses. Eh, recuerda que um, él dijo que Moisés iba a, ten, a tener acusaciones contra ti. Verse 24. Therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him unto a wise man which buildeth his house upon a rock. Eh, 22. Muchos me dirán aquel día, Señor, Señor, no profetizamos en tu nombre y en tu nombre echamos fuera demonios y en tu nombre hicimos muchos milagros. Y entonces les declararé, nunca os conocí apartados de mi hacedores de maldad. Cualquiera pues que me oye estas palabras y las hace, la compararé a un hombre prudente que edificó su casa sobre la roca. And, when, and then the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and the beast upon it uh, beat upon the house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock 25 descendiendo lluvia y vinieron ríos y soplaron vientos y golpearon contra aquella casa y no cayó porque estaba fundada sobre la roca now in egypt there was a rock a rock that followed the egyptians who was the rock en Egipto, um, eh, when siguieron they were, el, during the Exodus, when they were leaving. During the Exodus, when they were leaving, they followed a rock. Who was it? Messiah. Oh, oh. El Messiah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's sí. the rock. Build Esta your house roca. upon the rock. The, if ah, Yeshua ah. is the rock, then the commandments, he is the word. He build your house upon the Torah. A su casa sobre las rocas, si es el Mesías, son los mandamientos. And believe it. That's faith. Y créelo, eso es fe. Okay? And you'll stand during the hard times. 26. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and does not do them shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Uh, 26. Pero cualquiera que me oye estas palabras y no las hace, le, co le compararé a un hombre incestato que edificó su casa sobre la arena. Now the people were amazed that Messiah is speaking this. Yeah, they understood the law. Y la gente estuvo eh, maravillados cuando escucharon el Mesías hablar marvel. de eso. Entendían mm. la ley. But we don't even marvel at this. We just do whatever the hell we want. Pero ni nos maravillamos a esto. Hacemos lo que queremos. And great will be the fall. Y grande será la caída. Because this deceptive country, this de deception is all around you. And because you're not in the word, You believe anything these, this, that goes on. And these teachers are teaching you a, a false thing so that you never wake up to realize you're Israel. You are the nation, not the land. You are the nation of Yasharel. And that's what the enemy has a war, is going to war with you, not a piece of land. He makes the Antichrist, and if they don't, They don't get a mark. If they, if they have a mark, they've already capitulated to worship. El sistema de la bestia. Right. What happens? Well, the first thing that happens is the Antichrist is now in control and he can ultimately finally do what he wants to do. He's, He's doing that now. Israel and wipe them off of the earth. What? Now, um, the wars, we go read in Jude 
Obadiah, the nations will be fighting against each other. And then they realize, hey, it's not Israel land. It's these people. They are the people. And if they are allowed and this Messiah comes back, they will rule over us. And they turn and fight us. They turn oh. and hunt Yasharel, all 12 tribes. Who's they? We just went over the they, the nations I listed earlier, right? Las naciones que hablamos ahorita van a perjudicar, perseguir. All Las Edom. naciones de Israel. So all Edom will go after the, the Hebrews. And that's the time of tribulation where a lot of us who are not uh, believing in the commandments and all that other stuff and praying and all that stuff, you're going to die. You're going to die. Lo que no están guardando las, los mandamientos y orando y, y todo eso se van a morir. The uh, former president of Iran said he wanted to do, the Antichrist will now determine to do. He will march to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. He will march toward he will march toward Israel. And then all of a sudden he'll begin to start hearing things that are See, it he 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 doesn't understand saying the scriptures here. He's right. But what time is that? That's when they are warring against Yasharel. And the father says that they that believe upon him, he will protect and he will bring, right? And then when they come against them, the father is going to send them into a dry area and their stench shall come up. Their sin shall come up before the father and their death shall come up before the father. He's going to destroy them. Was out. Other armies are coming toward him from the north, from the south. The eastern army is coming across the Euphrates River, and he has to stop for a moment and try to deal with that. Well, he does, and to, to kind of fast forward as quickly as we can, all of a sudden, all of these armies are together, and there is a new opponent that they weren't preparing, they were aware of. The Lord Jesus Christ. That's Messiah the coming in the cloud. With great power. Messias viniendo en las nubes con gran poder. To save Israel. Para salvar a Israel. Nowhere does it say save the world. There's no saving no, of this world. No salvar el mundo. It is to save Israel. Israel. So they're telling you a story, but they're only telling you half the story. Solamente te dicen 50% de la historia. They're telling you some things, but the, the, some of the stuff they they learn. But the Bible says that the the commandments, statutes, and judgments was given to Israel. La Biblia dice que los mandamientos, leyes y estatutos se la dieron, entregaron a Israel. They these guys do deep study, and I appreciate them. Eso es que hicieron un estudio profundo. But we gotta start trusting us because. It's all about them trying to destroy us. And if they don't understand that, they're lost. Tenemos confiar uno al otro porque esto son, quiere decir, quiere ver con ellos tratando de destruirnos a nosotros. And they start making up things that are for their understanding because they're not dealing with the fact that Edom is the beast and we are the people. Se las inventan porque Edop es la bestia y ellos entonces tratan de decir otras cosas. So they go around and now you think you got a horned devil and you got this devil that's going to appear on the earth and people, you think people are really going to worship a horned devil? Come on, man. That's crazy. ¿Tú crees que la gente van a lavar un, un diablo rojo con cuernos? The, the dragon is red. Esau's red. And, and he's considered a dragon. El dragón es rojo y Saúl es rodo, rojo. Who's thrown down the nations? Esau. Tirando las naciones, es Saúl. They're not teaching you that. They're teaching you it's some other creature that's just not them. Eh, está dando decir, decir que es otra criatura y no, no son ellos. Yet all the evil that's done on the earth, they do it. Pero todo lo malo que pasa sobre la tierra, eh, ellos lo hacen. 
Look, look at the Amalekites in Israel right now. They, they're going, they bombed the city because the, the Palestinian uh, jihad is there, right? They don't care about innocent people. They're just going to bomb and bomb. They're starving them. They're cutting off their water. And now they're going to bring in ground assaults. They're going to bring in tanks. They told everybody to get out of the city. So now you got to get out of a place that's your home. Y lo que empezaron en Israel, botando todo el mundo de sus hogares, a gente que se tienen que ir de su hogar. Who does that? ¿Quién hace eso? That's evil. Eso es malo. But we do that all over the world. You just don't hear about it till now. Eso pasa sobre todo el, eh, el mundo, pero no oímos nada de eso hasta ahora. Then you find out the so-called greatest nation on earth is the wickedest nation on earth. Eh, y nos enteramos que la mejor nación del mundo es también la más malvada. Even the president of Russia said the United States used to have morals. Now it's lost its mind. Hasta el presidente de Rusia dice que eh, los Estados Unidos tenían um, morales. Se dice. Yeah, morals. Yes, morals. Yeah. Yes. Um, Morales, pero ahora se perdieron la mente. Sí. All right. Anything, any questions? Preguntas. No. Good. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Padre, gracias por este día. And we ask you to touch our hearts. Um, Toque nuestros corazones. Help us under understand the times and the seasons. Ayúdanos a entender los tiempos y las épocas. Help us to wake up. Ayúdanos a uh, levantarnos. Help us to turn back to you. Um, ayúdanos a regresar, retornar, regresar a ti. Allow us to build our houses on rocks and not sand. Ayúdanos a... Um, Hacer nuestras casas en rocas sobre y no arena. Teach us your commandments, your statutes, and your judgments. Enseñanos tus mandamientos, leyes, y estatutos. Help us to understand what redemption is all about. Ayúdanos a entender lo que la redención es. And why the, lamb, the blood of bulls and goats won't do it. Y porque la sangre de, de burros y uh, chivos no lo va a hacer. But you have accepted the offering of blood. Tú has aceptado la ofrenda de sangre. That will restore our connection. A que restaura eh, nuestra conexión. Therefore you will say to a people that was not your people. Tú le vas a decir al pueblo que no era tu pueblo. That you will be their God. Que tú eh, serías el Dios. And they shall be your people. Y que nosotros este, estaría, seremos su pueblo. So we thank you for restoration. Gracias por la restauración. And we thank you for our Messiah. Gracias por el Mesías. We thank you for all that you have done for us, Father. Gracias por todo lo que tú has hecho. And your plan of salvation. Y tu plan de salvación. Thank you for your blood peace offering. Gracias por tu eh, sangre, ofrenda de sangre de paz. And restoration. Y restauración. According to what was written in Deuteronomy. Acuerdo de lo que estaba escrito en Deuteronomio. We ask you to bless us, Father. Eh, te pedimos que nos bendiza. To forgive us. Perdónanos. To touch our hearts. Y toca nuestros corazones. That you would answer the needs that we truly have. Uh, contesta los, las necesidades de nosotros. We ask this in Yahushua's name. Pedimos en nombre de Yahushua. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom. 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 Shalom.